Remove the tail, which is a piece of quarter inch plexiglass. You can make it any shape you want. It's only about, I don't know, eight to ten inches long. I cut a slot in here, quarter inch wide, the same thickness as a plexiglass. Put the pinch bolt through here, squeezes it together to hold it good and solid. Next, I have the casing screwed together all the way around. I've already taken out a couple screws. I've got one in here to show you this. Take out the last screw, pop the top off. It's just a six inch PVC pipe cap. You want to get two six inch PVC pipe caps and a piece of six inch PVC pipe. pipe comes in about a 10 foot section so you might as well get the whole thing because you're going to use it to build the blades in the very end. Now the tail is made out of a piece of 2 inch PVC pipe. Quarter inch slot, the width of your tail, whatever you'd like. And a coupling, 2 inch coupling that will slide completely over the pipe. If you got to hollow it out a little bit because sometimes there's a little ridge in there, make sure that slides out. Now, this is what I've done on the inside. We'll get to the alternator part, the, uh, the workings of it. But this is a 10 SI GM alternator, about a 1990s vintage. And you can pick them up in a boneyard. You can find them all over the place. It's the GM produced more of these alternators than any other alternator out there. So they're easy to come by. And then inside the alternator,